is Nina and welcome to the room tour of my first ever place in Amsterdam slash Europe. This is how wide it is. And no, I'm not like seven feet tall. I've lived in this room that I can touch with both hands for a year now, which is crazy. But you know, we're not gonna think about it. We're moving up, upwards mobility. Things can only go up from here, which is the positive thing. So, don't feel bad for me. I watch a lot of that YouTube channel, Never Too Small, and I try to incorporate some of the things in it. The saving grace of this room is that it is like eight meters, but at least the ceiling is really high, and it also has a very large window that's like right here. And so it makes it feel like you're less trapped in the actual shoebox. Haha. <laughs> so, Let's begin, shall we? You open the door, and here are my slippers, because this is an Asian household. At least this 8 meters is. And I hate putting dirt into my room. You are in the entryway, and right next to it is this monstera that honestly I've not been that good at taking care of, and I hit it almost every time I walk out. So honestly, I've not been that good of a plant mother to it. I apologize and I got it from Ikea and then we're still at the entrance and we pivot this way this is like the getting ready corner and I have food and like some dry food well I packed it up there's just miso and unopened soy sauce and like I put towels in the top rack for instance my backpack on this side and my carry-on on this side. Don't look at that. That's a present, Noah. That's a present for Noah, so if he's watching this, don't look at this. Uh, yeah, I try and keep it neat and have a rhyme to... a rhythm to my madness. This is my tote bag, and this is very multifunctional. This is like... it can be a cushion, but it folds out into a blanket. So, most of the time, when I'm getting ready, I put it here on the floor like Japanese style and then I have this mirror from Ikea which I do my skincare and makeup in and I just set it here because there's nowhere in this room to put a full length mirror because if you face it against the window that's bad luck and you can't have a mirror facing your bed either because you get nightmares on this wall I found this chair on the side of the road. It was for free when I first moved here. And it's just missing a bolt, but I don't actually sit in it. I just use it to hold. This tucky bag from Hema is my makeup. And this is just like shampoo, face wash, deodorant. Then finally, this lamp is kind of bright. So I put a white t-shirt around it to diffuse the light and it creates a more warm orange light at night. But I don't really use it during the day. I just use daylight this is my patagonia duffel black hole duffel that turns into a backpack and i cannot recommend a duffel that can also be worn as a backpack to any college student or just person who wants to travel lightly enough like this is one of the best purchases slash gifts i've ever received this is my bed it touches three of the four walls in this room Sheets are from Hema. Almost everything's from Hema. If it's not from Ikea, Hema is like the Dutch target. Uh, Totoro is with me. He's my ride or die. He moved across the ocean with me. And he guards my bed from scary monsters. And then I got this blanket that I put over if it's colder, of course. This laundry basket, also from Hema. This from Ikea. It's like a foldable tray and I use it as a nightstand, but I also have it like, I put my books underneath it so that it's quite multifunctional. This radiator functions as my nightstand as well. I have a book, The Four Agreements, which I read when I can't sleep. And also my noise canceling headphones, water bottle. You know, the basics. Also, a pencil pouch. So yeah, that is the end of the tour. 
I told you it was going to be short. There's not much to say. Uh, thank you so much if you stayed to the end. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.